Hello and welcome to another episode of What's Going On. So there's been a lot of talk of why the two idiots got this little house in Portugal, whether it's a vacation home or whether it's a forever home, whatever it may be. There's been a lot of speculation as to why. Now, of course, we did just see the Diddy thing pop off. And as soon as the Diddy thing popped off, Harry ran from the country. So that was kind of interesting. And also, of course, the Trump thing. If Donald Trump wins the presidency, which a lot of people are hoping that he does, he will handle Prince Harry and his visa issues, which essentially at this point, because of the administration that is currently in office, it basically looks like Harry has won his visa case. Because remember, I'm of the opinion Harry didn't fill out a damn thing. I think Harry just got on the plane. He got off the plane in Montecito or whatever uh, whatever city over there in California, and he just walked into that Montecito fortress. He didn't fill out a visa application. He's basically an undocumented illegal. That's my opinion. But let's go ahead and go look at this right here. Extradition conditions. Because if the Diddy thing does pop off, and there's some kind of crime that the client committed, do you think being over there in Portugal would be something you would have to worry about, being extradited? And it says Portugal will only grant extradition for crimes that are punishable by more than one year in prison. Portugal will not grant extradition for crimes that are punishable by death or life in prison. And this last part right here, this last part got me, where you see it right there. Portugal will not grant extradition for political reasons. So does that mean that the client would be safe from any kind of extradition because of who he, uh, who he is? Excuse me. I think it does. I mean, essentially, he's the king's son, so he probably knows he can get away with whatever the hell he wants. But if the Diddy thing really did pop off, I think there's a strong possibility that this man might be in some serious trouble. OK, and then we move over to this. Now, this has to do with the two idiots and their Archwell Scam Foundation. Now, look at this. Lisbon, which is poor in, in Portugal, is currently ranked fifth in the world as a location for executive nomads. And we know that's basically what Harry is. He's a nomad. The well-heeled counterparts to scruffier digital nomads looking for somewhere to run their businesses, scams, Archwell Foundation, scam. While enjoying a more pleasant lifestyle, connectivity, innovation, and diverse cultural scene, and good weather year-round are key factors. So, the real reason, really right now, it looks like it could be a possible of how many real reasons. Because something like this, it just doesn't happen the way it happens. You know, after the visa case, after the Diddy thing pops off. Something is going on behind the scenes, and these two people are afraid, and it looks like they want to run away. 